Hi, I'm Jackie Topa. I'm going to show you how to make this waffle paper tree. Okay, I used a scrap of cardstock. Uh, you can also use a, a cone for this, a um, styrofoam cone, but I didn't have one, so just fold it into a cone. If you're doing these for classes and you need a whole bunch, I would just keep using one as a form so that they're all the same size. And just tape it. And then what you're going to do is I want it to be the same length all the way around. Otherwise your cone won't sit flat. So I usually line up my top about a half an inch or six and a half inches and then just mark it all the way around. When you're done that, cut on your pencil mark and I've got a piece of felt cut. I put some sticky strip on it. You don't really have to, you can just put a couple pieces, but <coughs> I like having it held in place, so I'm just going to put some foam on my cone. And I have an eight and a half inch piece of waffle paper that I'm going to make into a tube. I've got some sticky strip down one side, so we just fold that over. And find my snail, I keep losing my snail. There it is. Okay, I've got a two and a half inch circle here, and I'm going to just put some snail around the outside doesn't have to be completely covered. You just need to hold your paper temporarily. Oops. So just pinch a little bit of that over. Go across, pinch the other side, and then work on your two opposite sides so that your waffle paper is even around your circle. And fill in the rest. Okay. So we've got that done. I cut a base out of the scallop circle, the scallop circle die and a two and a half inch circle of the adhesive. Now to get this started, I usually start rolling the side until that top layer is ready to peel. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work. <laughs> okay, more than a little. All right. And once that's loose, just peel off the side with the wording. I'm going to keep this tucked over to the side. Just put it there, stick that down, and then this backing is a little easier to get off. And I've got some on my fingers. So line up the bottom of your waffle paper tube with your adhesive circle. Now before I stick that down on this one, I'm just going to put one end of my, uh, I'm not sure, wire trim underneath, underneath there and stick that all down good. Okay. Put your cone inside. Just take your wire trim. Don't pull too hard or you'll pull it right out. And then just start wrapping it around your tree, however close you want it. Almost like a candy cane. Just keep going up a little as you twirl. I like to leave it on the roll because if you want more or less, you can take it back off and just redo it. There. So when you get to the top, there's a little bit of wire in here too. So. I use my old pair of scissors if I can find them. And I can't, so I'll use my good ones. Okay. And just wrap that around the top. Now I'm going to put a star on it to finish it off. So I punched a couple of stars. And I lost my other one. Figures. <laughs> okay, so we're going to peel back some of this adhesive. I've used some already, so just take your punch out and lay it onto your adhesive, stick it down a little bit, and just gently from the edge peel it off, and the back of your star will be all sticky. And put that on one side. Oops, we got a little bit of spider webbing happen there. I don't know where my other star went. So you would I would just take my other star and stick them on there, but disappeared, so we'll leave him for now. And we're going to do some little, the little gift boxes. So for that, you will need, oh, I can't find anything here, your petal card punch. Now for this punch, I always have to stand up and put my hand on both sides. 
to punch it. And it's got the, the uh, scoring right in there. So we'll put that on. Let's hold those all back. And I'm going to make a double ribbon. And again, I'm just going to cut a little piece of wire. You, um, the wire that you get in, oh, what are they called? The twist ties works good for this. So for my double ribbons, I usually just do two little quick loops. Wrap your wire around, and then fold all your all your junk up to one end, and then just pinch it and twist. And I like those kind of bows. Okay, so right in the middle of my of my box, on my top, it's going to be punch a little hole, and then I just stick my wire through the hole. Now, if I wanted to get my lid off, I would probably back this with a little circle, cardstock circle, and you can bend that over or whatever and tape that down. Oops, stick that extra wire in. So now to make the bottom, I have a, f well, I want to make your strip of designer series paper, however uh, tall you want your box, mine's one and a half. And you're going to score it. Oh, and this is what um, four and three quarters inches long. So you're going to score it at one and an eighth, and move it over to two and two eighths, three and three eighths, and four and four eighths, which is four and a quarter. And that will make the center of your box. And I've got one, usually whatever my base is, that's the color I want my bottom to be. So I've punched another one of these out of white. And I'm just going to put a little bit of tombow around on the four sides. Oops, I missed a step here. On this I'm going to, do I have a sticky strip on there? No, I don't. I'm going to put a little bit of sticky strip down one side to hold my box closed. And now I know I always do this ahead. <laughs> okay. We'll peel that off. Oops. If I'm making boxes, just to make sure I get them even, I usually do two sides like that kind of fold them flat so you know it's going to square up after. Okay, so I've already got my glue on my base. So I'm going to stick that in. And it should be a snug fit and it will stay well. But push it till it's flush. Stick your hand in there and make sure the sides are all stuck down. There. And then your top, you can either glue it in or you can leave it open and then fill those with candies if you're putting them on. And then to glue it to your base, just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of your box and just stick it down. Put another one already made here. Give those a minute to dry. There, and you're done. That's your little waffle paper tree.